We just recently purchased and unboxed the Sennheiser wireless microphone system. I wanted to share with you today a simple hack that you can do to keep the hot shoe mount on your receiver while also keeping the receiver in the case. If you recall, we got this really helpful case as part of the microphone bundle. And I was really pleasantly surprised when I found out that the transmitter and receiver fit extremely well into the case. That was until I put the hot shoe mount on my receiver. And then we ran into a problem. It won't fit. So today I want to do just a little bit of customization to the case so that I can leave the hot shoe mount on the receiver. I'll link to the other video from the unboxing so you can watch that. And what you'll see is that putting this hot shoe mount on is really annoying. You have to remove this belt clip, do some work here with the hot shoe mount, put everything together, and it's just not something I'd want to do on a daily basis. If you look really closely, doing that even scratches the metal on the case. So I guess unless you needed to, I wouldn't remove this hot shoe mount. And for most people who do camera work like this, I don't know why you would want to. If I put this up here in the back spot, you can see that if I just make a couple of trimmings back here, I should be able to keep it there. If I were to put my receiver in this front spot, you can see that the wall of foam here isn't big enough. So I'm gonna keep my transmitter in the front and then my receiver in the back. It looks to me like the belt clip portion is not really any thicker because you can see where the belt clip is here. That, that was already there in the hot shoe mount actually hides really well behind it. So that doesn't really add any thickness to the back of the receiver. Where the problem is, is with the hot shoe mount. So I'm gonna take a marker here and just trace a line around that. That went pretty good. Um, I found that kind of a sawing motion worked pretty good with my knife there to just trim this. And I realized because the hot shoe doesn't actually sit all the way down at the bottom, I don't need to create a cavity all the way to the bottom, only maybe about oh, three quarters of the way down. So I wanna leave the rest of the cushion there toward the bottom and not take out too much. Let me take out just a little bit more right here and see if that uh, kind of fits a little bit better and then we'll give it a, a test fit. I'm not a fan of modifying products like this. I feel like they should usually come from the factory to fit but this is just one of those little things. So if you're watching and you're SKB Cases Company and you make this case highly recommend you provide a small slot for the hot shoe mount on the receiver. And let's see if I got my hole correct. Would you look at that? Fits in there pretty good. I could probably do a little bit more cleanup on my edges over here and get it to fit a little bit cleaner. Looks like I kind of went a little far back. Not bad for a 60 second hack and just have a tiny little piece of foam that I'm gonna dispose of. But now I don't have to take that hot shoe mount off and I can keep my entire Sennheiser kit in this nice protective case. If you're a working professional and you rely on your tools like we do, these protective cases are really important. We often just toss our gear in our car and take off on a trip. Uh, I'll leave a link to this case in the description below this video, and I'll also link to both the Sennheiser unboxing video and also the microphone system. We've had a chance to use it just a couple of times, and we're super happy that we made the investment. It was a huge step forward for us. In case you're wondering, this video is actually being shot on a Rode video mic. This is not the Sennheiser system. This microphone kind of has a hollow sound to it. It's better than uh, a standard mic, but it's not quite as rich, and the Sennheiser mm, sounds really good. If you have any questions or comments about this hack, this case, or the Sennheiser system, please leave a comment below. Would love to know. We'll try to consider those for future videos. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.